Hey guys, oh, welcome to Let's Crack Neat PG, the YouTube channel for Unacademy, our Neat PG division. My name is Chaitanya Mittal. I am currently pursuing my MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. So we are running the Cranial Nerves One Video One Nerve series at part as part of our YouTube Festival 3.0. So so far we have covered a lot of cranial nerves, right? And uh, as you all know that once we are done with these cranial nerves. Uh, you will have a very good idea of the gross anatomy and the neuroanatomy part. So please do watch all these videos on these cranial nerves and all the videos have already been uh, uploaded. So please go ahead and download the Unacademy learning app so you can access all the free features. For that you will need an invite code or a referral code and you can use the invite code or the referral code Chaitanya10 for your purposes. And so you can see that we have launched a few batches. For those of you who are interested, an FMGE batch has been launched, a NEET PG batch has been launched starting from 1st February, and an INICT batch is starting from February 3rd, right? So these are the details of all the other batches also, three batches starting on February 6th, and then you have batch, batches, two batches starting on February 8th. So you can join any of these batches that you want. And then right now we also have Unacademy combats that are live. All of these, they require a referral code. You can use my invite code Chaitanya10 to participate in them on an Android phone and you can win Unacademy Plus subscriptions and Amazon vouchers, right? So you can see there are a few top educators here who are teaching on Unacademy. All of us are making free live classes for you. So there are three free features of Unacademy, the free live classes, the quizzes and the combats. Besides that, there are free mock tests which you can attempt. So you can go and visit my profile. These are all the free classes that I have made. So you can see, have a look at them. And then there is a plus course that I've made on GI physiology. There are so many plus courses made by other educators. Uh, Dr. Priyashi Mukherjee, uh, who is teaching pediatrics here. Uh, uh, Dr. G. Rajesh, who is te te teaching medicine. And uh, you will find a lot of educators for physiology as well. I teach anatomy, physiology and biochemistry, all three. Then uh, there are, so I told you about the free mock test feature here, right? And then there is a comprehensive syllabus coverage. Some new courses always cover, coming for the, all 19 subjects. And flexibility is the reason why Unacademy is so much preferred because you are flexible in terms of your schedule, in terms of language, in terms of how many times you watch it. Then it's 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 almost like a virtual classroom experience because the chat feature is very robust. The polls are very interactive. It's almost like uh, KBC there and uh, learn anytime, anywhere you want. That's the advantage. So just go ahead and install it. Log in and unlock the free plan using my plus referral code that is going to be Chaitanya. 10, right so please use that to your advantage okay uh, after that uh, get the best of an academy and prep ladder if you take the iconic subscription so there are two subscription plans for you one is the plus subscription plan where you get all the benefits of an academy plus the live classes the batch courses live tests and live quizzes right in iconic you not only get everything that is there in an academy plus but you also get access to the video lectures the question bank and the rapid revision course of prep ladder so you also get the printed notes that is written here, right? So you get 19 subjects ke printed notes. So that is one of the benefits of an academy subscription. Otherwise, if you buy notes, they will obviously cost you a lot. So here they are already included in the an academy iconic subscription. So you can see here with an academy uh, and with prep ladder with the iconic subscription, you can crack your examination. So these are the pricing plans for one year an academy plus costs 27,500 and for two years it is 40,000. Apply my referral code Chaitanya10 and that entitles you for an additional 10% off. So right now you can see one year plan is at 54% off and the two year plan is at 67% off. So basically if you are using my referral code, the discount becomes 64% off and 77% off respectively for the one and the two year plan. So right now they're very well priced. Take advantage of the low prices right now because soon the prices will increase. For Iconic, the one-year plan is 55,000 rupees and the two-year plan is 77,000. Again, you can use my referral code and avail an additional 10% discount here, right? So this is how you apply the referral code and this is how you apply credits. So that is about Unacademy Plus and Unacademy Iconic. Now let's move on to our video. Next up to talk about is the vagus nerve, right? The vagus nerve is the nerve that is going to be so important for your body that it goes to your almost up till your abdomen almost supplies a lot of your body it's parasympathetic supply of so many organs right so as you all know it also carries quite a few fibers so it has its origins from the nucleus ambiguous 
there's the dorsal nucleus of vagus and the nucleus tra uh, tractus solitarius, right? Uh, it emerges at the posterior lateral sulcus, sulcus, right? And then it passes through what is known as the jugular foramen. So I already told you in the previous video that the 9th, 10th and 11th nerves were passing through the jugular foramen, right? And once it passes from there, it forms the superior ganglion, which is present in the foramen, right? And the superior ganglion gives two branches, the meningeal branch and the auricular branch, right? So two branches here are given in the foramen, the meningeal branch and the auricular branch, right? Then it goes out and it gives, uh, uh, it forms a ganglion called as the inferior ganglion. It forms the ganglion called as the inferior ganglion, which is also called as the nodose ganglion, right? Inferior ganglion is also called as the nodose ganglion, right? And the nodose ganglion, after that is formed, the vagus nerve, it continues as uh, the main trunk of the vagus nerve in the neck between the internal carotid artery and the internal jugular vein, right? So that's about the main course of the vagus nerve. And uh, in the in neck between the internal carotid artery and the internal jugular vein, so that, that's imp an important point to know. We also saw that point for the glossopharyngeal nerve. So these are two structures that you now know are present between the internal carotid artery and the internal jugular vein. And then as you know, the nerve is also a part of the carotid sheath, right? So the main trunk gives two branches that are the cervical cardiac branch and the recurrent laryngeal nerve here, right? These are the branches that are relevant to you right now uh, with respect to the head and neck. And the inferior ganglion, it also gives a few branches, the pharyngeal branch, the branch to the carotid body, which is again responsible for your baroreflex and the superior laryngeal, uh, laryngeal nerve, right? So you have to remember the superior laryngeal nerve, which later on it divides into the external laryngeal nerve and the internal laryngeal nerve, right? So this is how you will write down the course of the vagus nerve. And then if you talk about the right vagus, it descends in front of the first part of the subclavian artery and the left vagus, it descends in on the left of the arch of iota, right? So as you know, on the left side, uh, it descends further downward and the right recurrent laryngeal nerve, it is uh, given in the neck, whereas the left recurrent laryngeal nerve, it is given in the thorax, right? And then further after that, these continue, the right and the left vagus, they continue and they give the abdominal and thoracic branches, right? Abdominal and thoracic branches. You all know they will go along with the esophagus. Then they will pass through the opening of the esophagus at the level of T10 and then further course will be pursued, right? So this is one diagram where you can see what is happening. The right vagus, it is giving the superior laryngeal nerve, which is giving the external laryngeal nerve, supplying the cricothyroid, right? Then the right vagus, it continues downwards and gives the recurrent laryngeal nerve. And uh, that is uh, around the right subclavian artery. That is done around the right subclavian artery. So this loops around the right subclavian artery. Whereas oh, if you talk about the left vagus, the left vagus, it is uh, giving a superior laryngeal nerve here, right? Which is dividing into the inter inter uh, internal laryngeal nerve and the external laryngeal nerve. Whereas the main trunk, it continues downwards, right? And it goes very close to the thyroid gland, right? Uh, then it goes downward and here it gives a branch which is going to form the recurrent laryngeal nerve, but it will coil around the arch of aorta and the ligamentum arteriosum. So the recurrent laryngeal nerve coils here in the, under the thorax, right? It does so in the thorax, whereas the on the right side, the recurrent laryngeal nerve comes from the neck. So that was the point that I was emphasizing here. Uh, besides that, uh, you have to know a little bit about the laryngeal mucosa till the vocal cord uh, above the uh, vocal cord basically the mucosa is supplied by the internal laryngeal nerve and below the vocal cords the mucosa is supplied by the recurrent laryngeal nerve right and the laryngeal mucosa on the vocal cord it is also supplied by the internal laryngeal nerve right and in the thoracic inlet syndrome so if the thoracic inlet inlet if there is a compression here you see the left recurrent laryngeal nerve it will get so in the thoracic inlet syndrome, the left recurrent laryngeal nerve is involved. What about the muscular supply? All of the laryngeal muscles except the cricothyroid muscles are supplied by the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Only the cricothyroid muscle is supplied by the external laryngeal nerve. So now you know quite a few points about the larynx. Let's quickly summarize them. As far as the muscular supply is concerned, the cricothyroid muscle is the only muscle that is supplied by the external laryngeal nerve. All of the other muscles are supplied by the recurrent laryngeal nerve, right? all other recurrent laryngeal nerve and I've already told you about the sensory or the mucosal supply above the vocal cords and including the vocal cords internal laryngeal nerve below the vocal cords is the recurrent laryngeal nerve so that's what you need to know about the vagus the most important point here is related to this larynx and the thyroid right so you have to know about the branches here
So all the very best for your examination. Please do remember to hit the like button for this video and <coughs> excuse me. Do subscribe to our channel. <coughs> Let's crack neat PG. And once you've done that, do drop a comment for the video if you liked it. Next video to watch is for the accessory nerve, the eleventh cranial nerve, where we'll talk we'll talk both about the spinal root and the cranial root. You can subscribe to our Telegram channels. The link for our Telegram channels is given in the description. <coughs> My own Telegram channel is t dot me unacademy neat pg chatanya right. So that's the link for the Telegram channel. And do remember to hit the bell icon for notifications. And these are the referral codes that you can use for an additional ten percent off on all subscriptions and to also unlock. the free features of the unacademy app right so thank you so much for watching i hope you liked the video